In this video, we're going to talk about the best college degrees for data science. So if you're looking to move into the field and get a job after college, for example, as a data scientist, a data engineer, machine learning engineer, or even a data analyst, we're going to go through what degrees are best for you. Now, this is not an easy thing to research because there are so many different ways and so many different degrees that you can take. And there are people in data science that don't even have a degree at all. So I want to give you this one just as a disclaimer that there's not just one way, but I want to show you some degrees degrees and some paths that are proven to work for people. We're going to talk about the college degrees themselves and then we'll also talk about the electives as well as some other courses and different things that you can do during your time as a student because it is not just about the degree itself, it is also about all the other things that you do in addition to the degree to be able to see success as soon as possible after you graduate and actually get a job in data science. Our first candidate on the list is surprisingly computer science. Now computer science is probably going to be the most popular popular degree of all of them that I'll talk about today, and there's a good reason for that. The thing about computer science is that it gives you a solid foundation in programming, algorithms, data structures, software development, and even kind of introduces you to some of the data science aspects. You'll often get to work with SQL a little bit, you'll know about databases, and all that is going to be very useful. Now I do want to emphasize that everything in this degree is not going to be absolutely essential for data science, and it's a very general degree, kind of like the business major, but for IT. But it can still be really valuable especially if it's something that you're interested in. After completing a CS degree, you can move into many different fields and many different careers. I'm actually making another video specifically on the different careers you can break into after CS degree. All right, so number two is going to be statistics. The important thing here is that you also learn many skills that are more applicable to the kind of more advanced roles in data science. And I mean, it feels a little bit weird to say that because all roles can be advanced in their own way. But for example, if you want to move towards research or you want to move towards data scientist, machine learning engineer, then you'll have a really solid foundation for those jobs. Of course, you know, you'll have to study some things as well, but you're building a really solid foundation. Now, of course, you don't need to specifically study statistics to get a solid foundation. And even when it comes to the mathematics part, there is also the mathematics degree, and that one can be really helpful as well. It can be especially helpful if it includes courses in, for example, applied mathematics, probability, and also statistics, which are more, you know, specifically relevant to data science. Something to consider is that if you're coming from this background, you're going to have it a little bit harder and a little bit easier than a computer science major for different reasons. You may have a more solid understanding of the underlying math and statistics, but you may also be missing some of the practical implementation, for example, programming and, you know, being able to work in different programming languages. So whatever direction you come from, there will usually be something that you have to kind of you know fill in the gaps well actually there is kind of one perfect degree which i'll just mention before and that is of course the data science degree now the downside to this one is that it's very specific to data science and if you want to do something else then you're not really going to have the same opportunities as for example a cs major it is also a much newer degree and not offered in as many places at all compared to a cs or you know even a math or statistics degree now so far it's mainly been about math and computer science degrees but there are also a lot of people with all sorts of degrees. For example, we have economics. And if the program offers certain specializations, which we'll talk about later, they can be more useful than in other cases. So it depends on the economics degree that you're taking. The thing is that economics degrees often involve data analysis and some form of modeling as well as statistical methods. It can also give you a little bit more insight into specific areas if you want to work in a specific field, because data science can often be a lot not just about understanding the theory and methods, but also how to make it useful for the company and apply things to real world problems. It requires multiple skill sets, of course, depending on the job. Now, next, I want to talk about engineering degrees, and there are a lot of different engineering degrees, and I might make another video on that as well, but they'll also give you that quantitative and solid foundation which can help you in data science. Of course, again, you'll have to learn many of the skills on the side, and it's not just going to be like a degree where you learn the programming language or you learn how to build a machine learning model. That's obviously something that you'll do on the side, but it can still give you a solid foundation to be able to learn these things by your own. I also want to talk about IT degrees, because whether IT information system or we're talking about, you know, I information technology, these ones can also give you a solid foundation and teach you about database management and more. But of course, a lot of things are not going to be exactly related, and I think that's completely fine, because you don't need to have a super specialized data science degree to work in data science, and I think that's one of the patterns that we're starting to see at this point. Now, part two is something that's also really important, because in addition to the major that you're taking, it is also important to consider taking specific elective courses that can enhance your data science skills. Here, it is going to be a lot about some courses in programming, you know, for example, in Python or R, and there are some very popular languages for data science. You might also be able to 
focus a little bit more on advanced statistics or modeling, as well as machine learning and AI, if that's something that you want to focus on. There's also database management and SQL, which are absolutely key skills, as well as data visualization and analysis, especially if you want to more, you know, focus towards the data analyst job or something like that. Now, I want to talk a bit about the degree itself and whether you actually need one. When it comes to the skills, you can actually learn these things by yourself. And we really live in an amazing period with an abundance of resources online. And there are very few things that you cannot learn online for free or at a low cost. So why do people then get degrees anyway? And well, it's because first, society pressures you to do so. And there are many employers that value degrees and will sometimes only look at candidates that have a bachelor's or even a master's in some cases. Now, if you don't have a degree and you don't want to get a degree or you can't, then I still don't think that you should give up because there are ways to break into data science even without a degree. Assume that it's going to be hard, even if you have a degree, but especially if you don't. However, I do think that if you're someone that really wants to break into the field and you're passionate about it, then I believe in you. So good luck on your journey and I hope to see you in the next video. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe so that you receive my new videos every single week. And also on the screen somewhere here, there should be another video for you to watch selected by the YouTube algorithm. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.